Ba-ding! What's up, fellas? Welcome back for another Dark Star Damn Nerd video. And this time, we're going to be reviewing this. Good old favorite. <laughs> Colberry. And I have fucking hiccups, by the way, so. Oh, it's bad. I mean, oh, I've never had it, but I've heard about so many. Get you some eagle. <laughs> I've heard about so many people having this and just having a terrible time with it. So I'm not looking forward to this at all. You know I ain't. No, we ain't spit. Yeah, we do grab that mud jug. This is my jug. <laughs> Fix it. I call this the Jaden jug. Fucking scrub. Yep. Well, you wonder why I always dress in black. Why you never see bright colors on my back. And why does my appearance seem to have a somber tone? Well, there's a reason for the things that I have on. I just busted a nut. Okay, so we've got a good old-fashioned mud jug for you fellas. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go over the appearance. It looks like a mother skull can with a mother skull can. It's just purple. So... Obviously, we're going to rate it a 6 out of 10, just like every other Skull Kid. No, I'm going to rate that one. That's what I rate it, 6 out of 10. It looks the same as every other Does one. Does it scream very... Fuck. It screams... I mean, not really. It really... It screams Robitussin to me. Mouthwash or something. Not very. <laughs> so, if you saw that, what, what flavor do you think it would be? Codeine flavor. Honestly. Seriously? I think it would be great. That's what I think. Yeah, either. I think yeah, great. I think that would be great. But they don't have a great feeling. Nope. So, I guess Kayak. this compensates for it. In any case, we're going to crack this sump gun, smell it before we open it. Give you a big whiff of it right off the bat. Well, before we crack it, you got to read the date, bro. August 21st, sell by 2016. So, this shit's old. That's great. It smells like a berry. Like a one of those red berries in yeah, the forest. It still smells the same. Alright. Open that so I'm gonna smell it. Ugh, it got a lot worse. It got yeah, a lot more. It gets a lot worse once you open it, but it smells pretty good on the outside. Yeah, it smells like uh, medicine on the inside. You don't like this? Mm, I mean, it's just gonna be dry and old. <gasps> old. Fuck. So the cut on this son of a bitch is not that good either. It's about. The average skull cut, <sighs> just a little bit, le like a little bit less, a little bit shorter, but for the most part, it looks the same as every other skull cut, and I don't really like skull cuts that much. Mm. Anyways, you got grizzly cube on, bro? Yeah, these are all the things I got. Damn. Seventy-five percent off the can. That's pretty good coupon. All off any can. That's good coupon. You ready to pack a liberal? I guess. Dollar off any can. You got good coupons, bro. Two dollars off a roll. It's not really that good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and experience this to the fullest and get a country boy size pinch for you fellas. Oh shit. This is really not as bad as people say it is. It's just not a good dip. It's just not a good some people even like it. Some people hate it. it. Tastes like chalk. It's definitely a weird flavor. It's not the worst dip though. So right off the bat, the taste I get from it is chalk-like, like a chalky, like one of those purple, you know those purple chalks? It tastes like that. It don't taste like a berry. It don't taste like a mixture of any of them. It just tastes like chalk. <laughs> it's like a, it tastes like Robitussin. Or like, yeah, like a Robitussin flavor. You know those goody powders? Mm-hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. Oh, berry flavored goodie powder. Mm -hmm. So, it's not my favorite can of dip at all. It's not as bad as people say, mm -hmm. but it's not really that good. I'd probably give it like a 5 or 4 out of 10. What do you think? I'd give it a 5 out of 10 for fruit flavor. It's not the worst fruit flavor out there. I've had worse. With every bad fruit flavor I've had, 
Like, I don't like... I don't like fucking, um... I really don't care for Skull Apple at all. That shit's gross to me. I like it better than this. This shit burns, too. On your tongue. It's like a nasty burn. Mm. So, what do you think about this? All in all. Actually, the more you dip it, the better it gets. Mm -hmm. I can see how that comes into effect. I'll give this probably a six and a half out of ten. I'm gonna go with five or four. Anyways, fellas, not much to review on this can. Like if I was a kid, I could dip this. True. Oh, uh, it's a good, it's a decent can. You know, it's not that good. It's not that bad. I know I say that about a lot of my cans, but this one really takes the cake. But uh. Anyways, if you haven't tried it, it is worth a try. It's worth two dollars. How much is this, anyways? This shit's like, like almost four dollars. Like three sixty. Well, I don't know about it being worth three sixty, but it's worth a good two, three dollars. And uh, if you haven't picked it up, go pick it up. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Everybody should try it. I think. Everybody, yeah. that it's like one of those dips you should try. Like you should try Definitely. this. You should try Grizzly Wintergreen. That's just something you should try, even if you uh, don't. You got to go through it. A dipper's path. Pick that up, man. You got to go through it to be a dipper. So try it. And YouTube, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.